uh, Aisha. Yes, what is this? If I write vector, then what is this? Yes. Yes, uh, Aisha. Oh, your microphone is. Uh, yes, uh, Aisha. Okay, let me quickly. You guys, uh, yeah, you guys start revising. Okay. So this is I D L cross R divided by R Q. Whenever I have a two quarter disconnected, okay, why this is happening? Why am got disconnected? So then this is uh, the bias Severs law, and using the bias Severs law, we calculated uh, the magnetic field due to long wire, long wire or infinite wire. Right, and uh, for that case, uh, this was uh, this was mu naught uh, i by two pi a or r, whatever distance we were calculating. So this was infinite uh, y, and this at a distance we were calculating the magnetic. Right. So and uh, Aisha, what was the direction of the magnetic field? If the current is in the in this direction, so what was the direction of the magnetic field at this point? At this point, uh, what was the magnetic field? Oh, one moment. Uh, you tell me what was the magnetic field. Inward. Yes. Inward. Inwards, yeah. So, yeah, again using the right hand thumb rule, yeah, good, good. So, this was uh, inwards, right? And uh, then for the second case, we calculated the magnetic field due to semi infinite wire, right? So, this was semi infinite wire, only this end uh, was long, and uh, we calculated the magnitude, uh, magnetic field to be 4 pi, right? And uh, then we calculated uh, the magnetic field uh, uh, due to circular wire at uh, center, right? At center, this is the important one. So we calculated uh, the magnetic field due to current carrying wire due to, so at the center, right? So what was the what was the direction of the magnetic field? Again, right. Yes. And uh, uh, the magnitude of the magnetic field uh, was uh, magnitude was mu naught uh, i by let's say this is a, a so two a. And uh, similarly, we calculated for the different kinds of the. Uh, so we calculated semicircular wire. We calculated uh, what? Uh, we calculated some arc and uh, so on. Understood? Yes, sir. Oh, so Mariam has uh, come back. So now uh, let us do uh, one question, right? And uh, then we will proceed. So let's say that you have uh, two circular wires like uh, okay and then we want to calculate the magnetic field at the center so the direction of this and uh, this is this so uh, we have okay so we have a uh, two circular wire one is this one right so let's say this is the plane and uh, the circular wire is in this plane Right, and then we have another plane in like this, and the circular wire is in this. Okay, so we have this circular wire, this plane, and then we have this circular wire, this plane. Okay, so you guys, uh, yeah, and uh, we want to calculate. So let's say this is uh, A, and uh, this is. So calculate the magnetic field at the center. 
how many contribution would be there? Yeah, how many contribution would be there? Yes, uh, guys. How many contribution would be there? Two. Two, right? So magnetic field is uh, a vector quantity. So magnetic field would be vector star, right? So let's say this is uh, one and this is two. So you guys calculate uh, B one, B two, and tell me what would be the magnetic. Quickly calculate and tell me. So remember, this is a circular, circular wire, right? And uh, I want to complete uh, today. At least I want to complete up to solenoid. Yeah, Mariam and uh, Aisha, you guys calculate. Uh, this one is one is uh, like this okay one is like this and uh, this is like this so you guys uh, calculate and test okay I should ask so, Aisha you tell me for uh, B1 what would be the magnetic field this is a circular wire, and we are calculating the magnetic field at center. So, what would be the magnetic field? B one pi by two. Oh, two. Not pi, and then B. B. And what would be the direction? Remember, this is going like this. Okay. So where is there is that uh, one moment, uh, one moment. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So one is this. Okay. One is uh, this, and uh, where is that? One is uh, this. So this is a right circular wire and we have one is this and uh, the other one is uh, like this. Okay, so for this one, the magnetic field is going like this, right? So inwards like uh, this. So in the, what is this? Uh, let me not uh, ask about the clay. So you tell me Aisha, what would be the direction? For the one uh, magnetic field, what would be the direction? Minus k. Minus k. So this is uh, like a standing, uh, standing circle, not uh, this one. Oh, let, let me. Yeah. So this one is like this, like this. Okay. So this one, right? This one, this this is like uh, this. So what is the direction? This is not uh, like this. Okay. Then this would be. So the bangle is uh, like uh, this. Okay. So you tell me if I the current is flowing like this. So if I place my uh, four fingers right in the curvature, then this is uh, what direction? K okay. or uh, what? Excellent. Yeah, so I hat and I uh, what I hat and uh, what is the direction? Negative I hat or positive I hat? Negative. Negative. Good. Correct. So minus I. And uh, then the other wire is in the XY plane, right? In the XY plane. So and it is uh, rotating uh, like uh, this. The current is in this direction. 
So, Maria. Oh, Maria, mic is. Uh, can you open your mic, uh, Maria? Yes, sir. Oh, so can you tell me what would be the magnitude and direction of B2? Yes. Mu not I by 2B. Yeah, so radius is uh, A. Okay. 2A. And uh, what would be the direction? You curl your fingers, right? In the plane, and what is the direction that it is giving? Yes. Outwards. Outwards. So, in what sense uh, are you? Okay. Yeah. So the. Okay. Let me. So this is uh, this one, right? And uh, the current is uh, flowing like this. So if I curl my finger, right? So what is uh, this direction? Downwards. Downwards. So, and uh, what is this downward direction? What is this? Uh, no, no, no. So this is uh, in X, Y plane already, right? So, okay, let me, uh, let me point it, let me say like this. So, let's say that your, uh, your screen is X, Y. So, this is the ring, right? And the current is uh, flowing like this, okay? So, if you put your, right, so what is uh, this direction? Inwards. Inwards. So, yeah, inwards is uh, what direction? Inwards is uh, what direction? K hat. Okay, and outward is uh, minus K hat. M minus K hat, minus K hat. Minus K hat. So, this is minus. Yeah, Aisha, you think about it. So, uh, this is uh, like this, right? You have x, y, right? Or if I put like put it like this, so you have uh, x, y, right? And uh, the current is uh, flowing like this. So if you bring your uh, right, if you cross your finger or if you, if you curl your finger, then it is pointing inwards, right? So inwards is uh, what direction? Did you understand, uh, Aisha? No, sir. I, I don't know. I cannot understand it through the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's say that, let's say that you are making a circle, right? So how many screen I have uh, shared? So let's say that this is X, Y. The current is flowing in the X, Y direction. Right, like this. Is this clear? Yes, sir. And when you curl your finger, when you curl your finger, so what is the direction that it is giving? Oh, towards the screen. Towards the screen, right? Into the screen. Yes, sir. So now you are in X, Y, and now but you are going into the screen, which is the another direction, right? Yes, sir. So, inwards is, uh, upward is uh, Z direction. Inward is uh, what direction? Minus. Minus. So, minus K. So, uh, did you get that point? Now? Yes. But. Yeah. And for this uh, wire case, for this wire case, you can see that this is like this. Right. So when you uh, curl your finger, then it is pointing in the minus x direction. Understood? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So then you guys uh, solve this part and uh, what you would say. So mu naught i, right? This is common and uh, two is also common. 
and uh, minus common so this is uh, 1 by p i hat plus uh, 1 by uh, a k clear yes uh, is this uh, clear yes okay so uh, you guys, please note it down, and if you have any doubts, so please ask. Noted, uh, guys. Uh, Mariam, what about you? This is not here. Oh, she is not here. Yeah, she is. Okay, she got a disconnected. Yeah, so let me, if I make the diagram in this way, right? And in this way. So this is the same diagram. Right. So again, you see that this is minus i, right? And uh, this is minus k. Understood? This one. From this one, it would be more clear, right? So this one and uh, this one. These are perfect. Okay. So this was uh, what I wanted to talk about. And the next topic is. Uh, this is a magnetic field on the axial line of a circular wire. Okay, so we have a, again, I'm a drawing a diagram like Right. So the current is uh, flowing uh, in this direction. Right. So the current is going like so in this way. This is going like this and okay. So let me. Uh, yeah. So the current is uh, flowing like this. Okay. So this is your screen is. Right, your screen is uh, let me say x y. Okay, so this is your screen, and then you are making a wire which is perpendicular to this screen. Right. So what is uh, this plane? Can you tell me what is this plane? Your screen is uh, what plane? Your screen is uh, what plane? How many direction or what direction that you have? For your screen, yes, Aisha. X Y. X Y. So your screen is your screen is X Y. Okay. And if I make a perpendicular direction, right? So you have uh, this direction. So this is X. This is X, right? And uh, yes. this is Y, right? Now if I make a wire like this, right? So this is in uh, which uh, direction or which plane? Right. Y. So this is Y and this one, right? So this one, this one is uh, coming out of that screen. So which plane? Z direction. Yeah. So this uh, means that this plane is Y Z plane. Understood? Yes, sir. So this is Y Z plane and this is X Y plane. And now what you are doing is that you are calculating the magnetic field. Okay, so yeah, so you are calculating the magnetic field on the axial axis. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this is uh, this is the ring, and you are calculating the magnetic field at this point. 
on the axis of this ray. Is this uh, clear to you? Yes, sir. So you take a DL element from here. So let me let me share uh, this thing so that it is more clear. To you. So what I will do is that let me open that and uh, and uh, share this act with you so it will be more clear. Because in uh, magnetic field and electric field direction is very important. So uh, until and unless we don't understand the direction, then the calculation part would be difficult. Understood? So uh, understanding the direction is uh, very important. So you guys, uh, yeah, Mariam, what is happening with your internet? Sir, since yesterday it's randomly showing that I have to sign in to, uh, you know, like how it comes in airport. Oh, like so you have to put your number. It's showing like that for no reason. Yeah, it is uh, linking your IP address to that, uh, whatever the Wi Fi. So, is it like 10 point uh, something like what's the IP address of that? Uh, oh, so don't tell me the IP address. But uh, it is linking to that uh, whatever the Wi-Fi provider that you have. So it is uh, linking to that router. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So don't uh, think about that. You have uh, the yeah. So uh, generally it is admin and then then part password is admin. So something like. That. And let me open uh, that. Uh, yeah. So. That and then So this is a very good save this link. I'm opening that uh, link, uh, guys. So is, uh, because. I should have uh, already opened that but It is uh, very slow, guys. Sorry about that. And I will send you guys the link. You guys uh, can check uh, the direction. So.
who who got uh, disconnected? Who got uh, disconnected? Yeah, Mariam got it. So can you guys? Uh, oh, Asha, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this is uh, what uh, we have. Okay. Why this is not. Uh, yeah. So we have. Uh, let me. So you can see that we have a circular wire. Right. We have a circular wire and. Uh, you can see that the current is uh, flowing uh, like this, right? So, uh, where is that? So, the current is uh, flowing like this, right? The current is uh, flowing like this, and we are the we are calculating the magnetic field uh, at uh, so current is uh, flowing like this, right? This is the DL element, so. So this is uh, the DL element, right? And uh, the current is uh, flowing like uh, okay. And this is uh, the this is yeah. This is the distance uh, that uh, we are calculating. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the distance uh, we are calculating the magnetic, right? At uh, this point, is this clear? Yes. So uh, let me open that uh, notebook and then. So you understood that uh, we have. So we have uh, this uh, current, right? The current is flowing like this, and uh, we are calculating the magnetic field at this point. And uh, this is the direction, right? This is the R distance, and this is the radius of that coil. Understood? So can you tell me what? So this is uh, the length element uh, here. Okay, and uh, this is the length element. And if I place uh, my right, so let's say that. Okay, so yeah, Maria has. So I have uh, this uh, right. I have this current carrying loop. Okay, and uh, length element is in this way. Okay, so how should I? Yeah. So length element is in this direction. From here it is going like this. Understood? Perpendicular yes, to this. And I am calculating the magnetic field, right? I am calculating the magnetic field at uh, this axis point, right? So this is my R length, right? And uh, this is this is my DL length, DL direction. So if I place my palm in DL direction, right? Let's say that if I place my palm in DL direction and I move to R length, so this would uh, give me the direction of the magnetic field, right? So magnetic field uh, would be in this direction. Okay, this is uh, my DL. This is my DL and this is my R length. So as you can see that DL is in the Z direction, okay? This R is in XY plane. Okay, so if I calculate uh, this magnetic field, right? So this will be my small magnetic field due to this element, uh, length element. Here. 
so can you tell me uh, what would be the uh, direction of or what would be the angle between dl and r what would be the angle between dl and r so this is how my this is my direction of dl right so this is my direction of dl and uh, this is my direction of whatever r so what is the angle between dl and r 90 90 degree, right so this is a uh, 90 okay good uh, mariam did you understand about uh, the angle between dl and r is this uh, clear mariam Angle between DL and R. Okay, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, what is the uh, Okay, so uh, I have right. Uh, I have. Uh, let me explain. Yeah, you got the uh, discussion. So I have this right. The current is flowing like this. okay so i picked a small uh, length element right which would be tangential to this wire current carrying wire so this would be tangential so tangent is in this direction so this is the tangent right if you guys can see that so yeah this is my wire and this is the tangent understood so this is uh, the tangent clear this is the tangent so as you can see that uh, this is coming out of this screen right this tangent is coming out of this screen and uh, now you are calculating the magnetic field uh, like this so what is the angle between this tangent and this uh, uh, this uh, length uh, or whatever the distance that we are the that we have what is the what is the angle between them between them You, you can see that what is the angle yeah so this is uh, like this yes so this is uh, 90 right this is 90 yeah so okay so the angle between d s right and then this d at uh, 1 okay so if i calculate uh, the uh, magnetic field this would be what mu not i by 4 pi and uh, dl right cross r And divided by R Q. Clear? Clear? Yes. Sir. So, so uh, as you guys saw that, what is the angle between T L and R? So, this is R, and angle is ninety, right? And this is R Q. So this uh, cancels, and this is square. So now we have. Uh, Yeah. Why this is a so the magnetic field is how much? This is mu naught i by four pi and T L by R square. Understood? This is my small magnetic. clear now this is making an angle theta with this so similarly what what is happening is that for this dl part right we have uh, this magnetic field but we have this small dl also right so for this small dl the magnetic field is in this direction 
okay and this is also making an angle theta right so this is a t okay clear guys for this because because we have uh, this length element and then we have this length we have all this length element right but at this point the magnetic field is this and at this point uh, the magnetic field is this understood uh, guys so we have two components one is in this direction on the axis and uh, the other one on this direction which is so this is uh, dx and uh, this is dy right clear guys yes sir so the this would be the horizontal component so dbx would be this would be db cos theta right in this direction and uh, then we have in this direction we will have db sin theta this is a uh, db cos theta okay and uh, in this due to this magnetic field right we have again db cos theta and this is db sin theta so which part is uh, getting cancelled which part is uh, getting cancelled uh, guys which part is uh, getting which contribution is uh, getting cancelled yes so this is cos theta and again this is cos theta and for sin theta we have uh, this one and uh, this one in opposite direction so which one is cancelling sin theta sin theta one is cancelling right so by is uh, right because this is cancelled and we have only dbx so uh, let us calculate uh, dbx right this is uh, db cos theta and uh, can you guys uh, tell me that if this is perpendicular these are two perpendicular this is theta so this should be how much yeah this angle should be how much this angle should be how much this is theta this total is 90 so this should be how much yes guys so this is theta total is 90 so this is 90 minus theta right yes and uh, again uh, this is 90 minus theta these are perpendicular so this is theta okay and again these are perpendicular this is theta so this is 90 minus theta right and uh, we are calculating let's say this then we are calculating magnetic field at x plane so this is 90 minus theta right this is 90 so this should be how much is this part clear why this is theta is this part clear why this is theta so can you explain a bit yeah so let us start from here so we have we have uh, this perpendicular correct and uh, this angle is uh, theta right so if this angle is theta then this should be 90 minus theta understood yes sir now these are perpendicular because magnetic field is perpendicular to r we have already learned that the magnetic field is dl cross r so uh, magnetic field is perpendicular to 
magnetic field is perpendicular to dl and magnetic field is perpendicular to r right this we know right so this is r so magnetic field is perpendicular so this is again this is 90 minus theta so this should be what 90 minus of 90 minus theta right so 90 minus 90 plus theta 90 90 cancel so this is again theta clear Yes, sir. And uh, then th again using the same analogy, this is theta, this is 90, so total is 90, so this would be 90 minus theta. And similarly, this is 90 minus theta, this is 90, so this should be theta, right? Because this would be 90 minus of, again, 90 minus theta, so this should be theta. Clear or do you want... Uh, is this because this should be uh, clear to you all, guys? Right? Mariam, clear? We can take an example, right? So, total is uh, let's say this is 30 degrees. This is 30 degree, total is 90, so this would be 60, right? And this is 60, right? This one is 60 and these, this one is 90, so this should be what? 30 degree. And again, this is 30. This one total is 90, so this should be what? 60 degree. Right. So if this is 60, this is 90, so this should be what? 30 degree. So this was 30, so this would be 30. This is theta, so this would be theta. Clear? So, if this is theta, so what would be cos theta? If this is theta, we have this one is theta, right? And uh, this is r, this is x, and uh, this is small r. So, what would be this cos theta? What would be the cos theta? What is cos theta? Yeah, what is cos theta? P by H, P by H, P by which one? Base by hypotenuse, right? So B by H. For this theta base is R and hypotenuse is R. So this would be db would be cos theta would be base which is r divided by pi. so this is a dbx right so for this small element length element right i have calculated what is this small ma magnetic field which is uh, db r by r and i can put the value of db which is nu naught i by 4 pi and uh, dl by r square into r by r. Clear? So if I want to calculate the total magnetic field, magnetic field due to total uh, length, so what should I do? Due to, if I want to calculate the magnetic field due to total coil, so what should I do? What should I do, guys? I have calculated the small uh, magnetic field element due to this small uh, length element, right? So to calculate the magnetic total magnetic field, I will integrate. Correct, uh, guys. So this is dl and uh, dl r square r and r. So this is all these things are constant, right? Because uh, this length from all the points are same. All the points are same. This R length is same, right? Because this X is same, this radius is same. So all this length are same. So all these uh, quantities are constant. So we can take it outside. Mu naught I R 
divided by 4 pi r cube and uh, TCL. So if I integrate uh, DL, right, what will I get? If I integrate DL, so I will get uh, total length. What is the total length of this uh, wire? Aisha, what is the total length? What is the total length of the wire? You have a circular wire, right? You took a small length DL, and then what you do is that you integrate the whole length. So you will get the whole length. So what is the whole length of this uh, circular wire? Circular wire. Circumference. Right, yes, Malik. circumference. So this would be circumference. So this is uh, 2 pi r. Mu naught i r into 2 pi r divided by 4 pi r. Right, so 2 pi 2. And uh, you have this mu naught i r square divided by 2. R is how much? So this R is hypotenuse, right? So this is uh, root of, right? Root of R is uh, root of R square plus X square. So R is R square plus X square power half. Okay, so R square plus X square power half and then power Q. So this would be how much? Mu naught i r square 2 pi r square plus x square 2 pi x. So this is in the x direction. And y part is cancelling, right? So total magnetic field would be simply dl, right? And uh, i hat, because this is in the x direction. So on the axis of the line, so mu naught i r square, 2 pi r square plus x square, 2 pi x, and i. This is uh, the direction, or let me write it as x hat. Okay, x hat means i hat uh, direction. Is this uh, clear to you? Who got disconnected and who's there? Aisha, you got it. Is this uh, clear? Yes. Yeah, so please uh, note it down. And whenever you have any doubt, uh, please ask. So the direction part is uh, important. Calculation we can do, but uh, to understand the direction, that is going to be the important part.
Whenever you want me to scroll down the screen, you need to please, please tell me, Ash. Yeah, noted up to this point, Asha. Then please uh, move down. Yeah, whenever uh, you have uh, noted a uh, Yeah, so this would be the manual. Noted uh, this part also. No, sorry. Okay, please uh, note it down and uh, yeah. No, Okay, so if I have a circular wire like this, right, then the magnetic field would be in this direction, right, on this axis. And let's say if I have a circular wire like this, so magnetic field would be at this point would be in which direction? On the axial line, right. If I have a circular wire like this, and then I want to calculate the magnetic field at this point, so magnetic field would be in this direction, always in the direction of the axis. This is uh, clear to you, Aisha. Yes, sir. Okay, so Mariam has uh, returned. Yes, uh, hello, Maria. Okay, so her microphone is there. Yeah. Okay, Maria, so please uh, take the screenshot, right? What part uh, you have uh, noted? Yeah, please uh, take the screenshot of that. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, this one. Please uh, take this screenshot of this one also. Yeah, uh, upward or downward? This one. This one.
yeah and then uh, take the screenshot of uh, this part taken uh, maria okay so now uh, we were talking about that whenever we have uh, this kind of a uh, circular loop then on the axis at this point magnetic field is always in the axial direction right so for this case the magnetic field is i hat direction for this case the magnetic field is in the j direction right and uh, for this case the magnetic field in uh, what whatever is this direction let's say n hat understood so the current is uh, this part not uh, this part. and the current is uh, okay so we apply the we apply the uh, maxwell right hand thumb rule right so for this case in this direction for this case right so for this case in the upward direction and as uh, similarly for this case okay so these are the direction of the magnetic field understood we apply the maxwell's right hand thumb right okay so uh, let us do one problem and uh, then you guys will understand so we have a uh, two uh, magnetic so this one and uh, and we are calculating the magnetic field at this point so for this case the current is flowing this and uh, for this case also the current is uh, let's say for going like this okay so uh, and let's say this distance is uh, a and uh, this distance is uh, b okay and the current is i and let's say i1 and then here this is i2 so we know that the magnetic field is uh, what for uh, a circular wire on the axis this is uh, only right the line so this is mu not i by 2 right and this is r square and uh, this is r square plus x square power by 2 this is uh, the magnet right so you guys just uh, calculated uh, this right oh do we have a uh, 2 pi yeah why do we have 2 pi so we don't have 2 pi right because 2 pi and pi got cancelled please uh, correct that so we this is uh, the magnetic field right so aisha can you tell me for this current for this current uh, what is the magnetic field let's say this is uh, yeah what is the magnetic field due to this current carrying wire What is the magnetic field due to this current carrying wire? Mu not i by two. Mu not i by what? This remember this is a circular wire, and we are current uh, ca calculating the current at uh, this point P point at the axial line, right? At the axial line, we are calculating. At this point, uh, what is the magnetic field due to this wire? Remember this formula. Oh, I you... didn't. I didn't give the radius. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So let's say this is R one R. Or let's keep the radius same. This is R and this is from figure it is not looking like that, but just yeah. So what would be the magnetic field? 
you not r squared um, by two r squared plus k squared whole three by two. Good. And what would be the direction? Remember the uh, remember the right hand thumb. So what would be the direction? Inwards. Yes. Inwards. Inwards. So this is uh, not like that. Right. This is not. Uh, this is not like that. This is uh, this one. So perpendicular to the scheme, right? In the uh, y z plane. So this is in the y z plane. Okay. So. Yeah, this is uh, like this. So current is uh, flowing like uh, this one. So you curl your finger. What is this direction? Right. Minus I or I? Minus. Minus. Right. So this is minus. And uh, Mariam. Yeah, can you open your microphone? Yes, Mariam. Okay, so then let's ask this question to. Oh, yeah, so if uh, you can open your microphone, so please tell me what would be magnetic field due to second, this one, at uh, this point. Yeah, what would be the magnetic field at this point? Yes, Maria. You not I R square by two R square plus P square. Uh, is to three by two. Yes, and what would be the direction? What would be the direction? Again, that is again in the y z plane. So, what would be the direction? Minus k hat. Minus k. No, so this is not uh, like this. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, we have do uh, this one, like both have the same, both are in the same place. Why? Both are in the same place, understood? So both have the same uh, direction. So for this one also, this one, and for this one also, so both will have minus, minus what? I have. I. Right, so both will have the same direction. Understood? Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, do not uh, confuse uh, with this question. So this question was, remember this question was, this was in the, so this one is the YZ plane, right? And uh, this one was the, X, Y, Z. So remember that. Okay. So remember the plane and then use. Okay. Yeah. So then total magnetic field uh, would be what? P1 plus P2. Uh, and uh, this would be the magnetic field. So we put P1 and B2. And that would be a very big uh, so new i r square by r i r square by
Yes. What are you saying, uh, Aisha? Any doubt? Do you have any doubt? My voice was breaking. Oh, my voice was lagging. Now is it uh, clear? Is yes. It, uh, okay. So this one and uh, plus one by r square plus b square and uh, this one. So this is uh, the magnitude. Please uh, note down, uh, guys. And if you guys have any questions, so you guys can ask. Yeah, we have an assessment today. So, yeah. Noted, uh, guys. Yes, uh, guys, noted. Done. What do you guys say? Noted. Oh, I think. Uh, oh, this is uh, I. Like. Noted, uh, everyone. Aisha and Mariam, noted. Okay, so the next uh, topic is Ampere Circuitry Law. Right. So this is just uh, an easy way to calculate uh, the magnetic field, right? So this is uh, just a modification of the biosterist law, right? So in your uh, electric charge, in your first chapter, you understood about uh, the Gauss law, right? So Gauss law was just the modification of the Coulomb's law. Similarly, this Ampere circuited law is just the modification of the biosterist law. So from this uh, method, you can easily calculate uh, the magnetic field, right? But this is uh, not uh, applicable for the uh, circular wire, right? But uh, you can uh, calculate uh, different kinds of wires. So you can calculate straight wire. You can calculate two most uh, used uh, uh, material, right? Magnetic material that is solenoid and toroid. So, using the Ampere circuit law, you can calculate the magnetic fields of different uh, kinds of magnetic material or different kinds of uh, current carrying wires. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, but before I do that, but before I do that, let me talk about uh, something in here. So, you guys uh, saw that. What did you guys uh, saw? So, uh, Mariam, can you tell me if uh, this was uh, the uh, circular wire, so what was the magnetic field at this point? What was the magnetic field uh, at uh, this point? Yes, Aisha, can you? Recall, what was the magnetic field of the 
molecular wire at the center what was the magnetic field at the center what was the magnetic field राइट I want to calculate the magnetic field at this point. So this would be the center, right? This is some x distance. 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 So what is x at center? What is x at center? So this is some x. Right, this is some x. So x is decreasing. What is x at this point? At center, what is x? Correct me if I wrong. Correct me if I am wrong, guys. Is x zero at the center? Yes, Aisha and Maria. Is x is zero at the center? I need to get your question. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What do you say, Aisha? You do not understand the. Yeah. So, yeah. So I am asking that what would be x at center? So this is a. This is a circular wire, right? This is a circular wire, and this one is the. x distance so this one is the x distance that you are calculating right so at center at the center of this uh, point what would be x at the center of this point what would be x this for this is at the center what is x yes what is x so x is uh, increasing like this this is x now this is x now this is x and then it is decreased to this point so at this point at center what is the x zero zero right so this is uh, what i was saying so uh, right so the x real line is the generalization of uh, this center so we know that at center this is the magnetic field right at center this is the magnetic field and at x real line what is the magnetic field so this is uh, mu not uh, i r square divided by 2 and x square plus r square divided by 2 so at center x is 0 so x is 0 so b center would be how much b center would be mu not i r square divided by 2 and r square Zero square plus r square three by two. So two two cancel and we have mu not i r square by two r. So r square and r cube cancel and how much do we have? This is matching with this, right? Understood, there, guys. No, oh, only you are it. So the. Uh, magnetic field at the center is the simplification or special case case of magnetic field at the axial point of a coil is that uh, clear aisha yes okay so now let us uh, get back to the ampere circuit so ampere circuit law says that if you have a current carrying wire right and uh, you make uh, an ampere and loop right so this is a uh, this is your current right in the upwards so when you apply the maxwell thumb's rule so this would be the direction of the magnetic field right so this is the ampere and loop and uh, 
Ampere circuit law says that the uh, my integral of line integral of magnetic field this would be equal to the mu naught and times the current input so this is uh, what ampere ampere circuit law says is this uh, clear to you so remember this is a closed line integral closed line integral and in the case of uh, gauss law what did we have we had uh, let's say this is some uh, right so let's say this is some charge distribution so gauss law said that right so at some r this was a gaussian surface so it said that in the enclosed surface right so it says that the electric field in the enclosed surface the flux inside uh, the gaussian surface this would be equal to the charge enclosed by psi right 1 by e naught at times d charge similarly the ampere circuit law says that the magnetic field inside a closed line integral this would be equal to mu naught times the current input is this uh, clear to you yes sir. Yeah, so where is the uh, my answer? So uh, this says that line closed line integral of uh, magnetic field will be equal to mu naught times the current okay so and uh, now the in the next class what we will do is that we will calculate the current or the magnetic field due to solenoids and then we will calculate the magnetic field due to toroids right and then we will calculate the magnetic field uh, due to thick wire right so these are uh, using the using the ampere circuit law now is the toroid omitted yeah what is the is the second topic omitted? Yeah, this part is omitted. Yeah, we didn't do it in school. Okay, so let me check. Let me check. Oh, good. Then we'll have only. Yeah, it is not in the syllabus. Let me check the list. Yeah, so after. Uh, Okay, so we only have a solenoid. Oh, after solenoid, we have force between parallel currents. Good, so, and then, oh, we only have the two topics. Torque on current loop and then, uh, yeah, so then this chapter will be over. So, okay, good, good. Yeah, so then this part is uh, not clear, right? So you and uh, Aisha, be uh, be very frank, right? If you not understand uh, a thing, so please don't hesitate to ask. Okay. So up to this point, uh, did you face any confusion? No. Good. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So then uh, I will talk about uh, this again, right? And uh, yeah, in the next class I will talk about this again, and then uh, we'll uh, quickly complete. So in your school, the they have completed the fourth chapter, right? Yes, ma'am. And uh, they just started the fifth one, or they are uh, about to complete the fifth one. So they have started the first one after school working. So they have started the first uh, chapter of second book. They didn't start. They will start the first chapter of the second. Second. I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, also, they didn't uh, start the fifth chapter. No. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So what I will do is that uh, yeah, let's see what is the fifth. Fifth chapter is magnetism and magnetic material. So I guess uh, that is the. So I will start fifth, right? And uh, let's see. Oh, so you are here, uh, Mariam. You are already here. Yeah. So who left? Oh, so the learning view. <laughs> learning view. Who say got? I thought that you got a disconnect. Yeah, so for Mariam, uh, they started magnetism and matter. Okay, so we will start uh, magnetism and matter. And uh, for you, Mariam, also, if you have any doubt, so please uh, don't. Up to this point, do you have any doubt? Okay, so yeah, you guys, uh, please log into your learning your account and uh, go to the class assessment section. And uh, please find uh, the uh, active test and tell me if it is not active. Yeah, you guys, uh, tell me if it is not active. It's not active. Not there. No, sir. Okay, so. So in the previous part, you did a series law, series and parallel combination of cells. What did you guys uh, do? Internal resistance, you guys did, right? Yes, sir. Okay, series and parallel combination of this. So, 